Well, here we are again. You have returned seeking information, and I continue to seek attention, validation, and internet fame. So let's talk about strength, power, and muscular endurance. Strength, power, and muscular endurance are all components of fitness that were briefly discussed in my video on fitness and what makes a person fit. First, we should define some terms so that we're all on the same page. Oh, and we're going to avoid getting lost in the weeds of the physics definitions. Strength is likely exactly what you're thinking. Strength is the ability of muscles to produce force. Power is slightly different in that time becomes a component. It is sometimes referred to as explosive strength, since we are usually focused on producing force in a minimal amount of time. An example would be a jump. There is a limited period at the beginning of the jump in which the athlete is in contact with the ground to rapidly produce enough force to propel the athlete up into the target. Muscular endurance is the ability of muscle to either sustain force or repeatedly produce force for an extended period of time. Wall sits would be an example of the former sustained force. Just hold yourself there. No, 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 the burning is fine. Just, just keep going. The definitions are important because several sports cause people to mix it up all the time. In the sport of powerlifting, an athlete's score is the combined result of their best bench press, deadlift, and squat. However, these are all strictly demonstrations of strength, not power. The lifts are slow and controlled. The rules further prevent use of explosive movements by requiring a pause at the bottom of the lift before the big push. Whereas weightlifting, a competition made up of the clean and jerk and snatch lifts, is a power sport. In both lifts, the athlete rapidly develops force to propel the bar or give it momentum upwards so that they can duck under the bar to receive the weight once it begins to descend. So, the sport of powerlifting should be called brute strength lifting, and the sport of weightlifting should be called powerlifting. And we can all agree that golf is not even a sport. Wait, what was my point? Oh right, if you don't take your shopping cart back to the little corral at the grocery store, you are a terrible human being. That's right. I said it. But what if the shopping cart is too heavy, stuck, or the corral too far away as you apparently seem to feel? How do we train to improve strength, power, and muscular endurance? Furthermore, how do we measure those things? Glad you asked. In subsequent videos, we'll cover the basics of training and measurement of each strength, power, and muscular endurance. At least now we know the diff. Hey, my name's Mike. Thanks for watching. Cue the royalty-free music.